to get out this way? No, we just uh, can't. Alexander is one of them. Tell him where we, we have are. Hands, screen, we are Mexico right now. Just you know? pretend you're just chilling. Okay. Uh, on a boat. So on like an old pirate ship right now. Hear that? It's gonna break at any moment. Damn, bro, this is not looks dirty at all. We are cheating on the Columbus. Okay, okay, okay. okay. My friends, I just made my first mistake. I didn't explain myself well. It's hot. I know my English is not like good. I'm Mexican. It's harder than Houston. I say, like, pretend it's, it's you are very excited. Just say something like uh -huh. that, but it's really hot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're on this Columbus, Columbus boat. This Columbus the theme boat. Trying to have a good time. We got a, a squad here. Javon, Derek. Much better. Now let's go to the most romantic Dene. section from the Caribbean. About to Pepe! Nice about to get how ready? 30 rows minimum? <laughs> I need to do it myself. Oh, your battery's low. I know, that's what I say, go. Yeah, auto from. We are here, and we're getting it. I'm actually vlogging from Charlie's camera because I left my camera, but, you know, we're gonna get it done. So, we're here getting it done. Right now, we're like on like a pirate ship, if you can see it. Basically, we're gonna have dinner here, steak dinner. And um, just enjoying the vibes, the views, and the beautiful people surrounding us here in Mexico. So yeah, guys. Um, I don't want to vlog too much on Charlie's camera. I just want to update you. Oh, what we're doing. This is what we're doing. So I'll see you in a little bit. Not smiling. Oh, that's too much. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, damn. Oh God, this is it's turning into a pornography. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here in. We're not even in Cancun anymore. We're in some ruin in Mexico. Here with the whole squad. They're over there in the corner, walking down the stairs. I did not go up there because it's way too fucking hot. As you can see, I'm fucking drenched in sweat from head to my head to toe. Yeah, I'm just sweating. Everything's sweating. Like it's fucking hot out here. It's honestly hotter than Houston. I know I said that before, but like I'm just re. Reinstating or restating the fact that it's hot as fuck here. Um, right now we're on, we're on an excursion through the Aztec or the Mayan ruins, and I don't know what part of Mexico this is, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Got old temples, staircases. Hey, uh, you need to get in the light because you can't see yourself in the dark. Fuck you. <laughs> I will not be participating in any events that don't have shade today. If there's shade, I'll be participating in that event. If there's no shade, I will not be participating. Like, that tunnel right there seems optimal. I'm going in there. Yo, mama. Oh, shit. It smells like shit in here. Snake, snake, snake! <laughs> well, I didn't, you didn't sell it. How, how would I sell it? Look at the way Charlie's hands on his head right now. How do I truck, sell it? Truck driver Charlie in the jungle. <laughs> truck driver Charlie. We're gonna look at the mind calendar in the end. You think it's poisonous? Bro, it's the orange, bro. It was like, it was like the body of the iguana is like this. Yeah. Alright, so now we're on a pedal grab because this journey is three miles long and you have the option of riding a pedicab or walking the whole thing and it's way too hot to be walking. So all six of us are now on a pedicab. Damn, it feels so good.
Taxi 13. Are we about to climb that? Let's go. So we're here right now. Uh, we just made it to one of the mine ruins, and we're about to climb something that's pretty steep. We're about to race. You ready for that? I'm not afraid. Dude, you trying to race or what? You want to race? I'm down. Fuck no, bro. You not down to race? Oh my god, bro. Day 564 in the wild. <laughs> I've went without food for three days. We finally made it to the, the top of this mountain where I found a wild dog resting. I might eat it for dinner. Hang out. <laughs> <laughs> this heat, man, is making me go crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we finally made it up the mountain. It's pretty hard, honestly. It looked a lot easier than it, than it actually was. Um, I think the hardest part is going to be going down. I don't. Don't stairmaster. I do treadmill all all the damn day. So it was easy for them. <laughs> the hardest part is gonna be going down for sure. Look at Javon right now. <laughs> you too, Derek. Javon's doing all this for a picture. All right, so we made it back. We made it down from the temple. Now we're at a Mayan buffet here and I don't know where the fuck we are. Um, we're about to wait in line for food. It's gonna be our first meal of the day, so really excited for that. And it's gonna be traditional food, so really excited for that as well. Um, I think right now we're just waiting for Danae and Ashley to get out of the bathroom, and then we shall feast. Oh, oh my god, man. Part three of today's excursion, you finally made it to the ocean. Talum. It's another, it's the last, last exhibit of the day. It's fucking hot. There's like different excursion groups here. So we kind of just broke off from ours and we just like said, because he kept stopping for some reason. I guess waiting for the whole group to catch up and we kind of just want to get in the water. So we broke off. And now we're finally jump. We're finally about to jump in. And I'm so sweaty. I brought my bathing suit or my trunks, whatever. And I'm just gonna jump in because at this point, like these clothes are as good as as good as trash. So jumping in or what? Yes. So Alright, so it's our last day officially here in Cancun and check out this weather real quick. It's raining on the last day. So honestly, this is pretty good because one, we got to enjoy the good weather here in Cancun. But the bad thing is that our flight, there's a possibility our flight is canceled. Let me go inside because my, my uh, lens is fogging up. There's a possibility our flight is delayed or canceled and I really don't want that to happen because honestly guys, I am so ready to get back home and get back on my grind. Um, I feel like a fucking whale right now. I feel like I've gained a lot of weight. I mean, I'm still maintaining the abs, whatever, but like it's just my face just feels all puffed up and I still feel healthy anymore. So um, we check out in about 30 minutes. Right now it's 11.30. So we check out in about 30 minutes and then we have to chill here until 3 p.m. until we head to the airport and then we have our flight to Houston around 5. So the flight to Houston is usually, it, it, it was an hour and 30 minutes coming in so I'm guessing it's going to be that long or even maybe shorter um, going back. I'm just ready to get back home, get back on my grind, get back to my daily routine, my emails, my, my YouTube, my two to three videos a week my check-ins, my clients, all that stuff, man. And just like get back on the grind. And um, I have a, a photo shoot with Muscular Development 
Um, I don't think I've, I don't think I've announced that to y'all yet, but I have a photo shoot with Muscular Development Latino um, with my protein in about four weeks, September 12th. So when I get back to Houston, Hola. we'll begin my prep for that. Um, I'll be dieting hardcore for the next four weeks, trying to get the next three to four sessions of cardio per week, and. I think for my macros, I'm gonna go 275 grams of carbs, 200 grams of protein, and 55 grams of fat. I'm just gonna maintain that for four weeks. And that should get me relatively lean for the photo shoot. So, it's really, re really ready to get back home and get back on the grind. So, uh, as I said before, we're gonna chill here, pack up everything, and check out. traveling experience for Derek in his entire life. His flight got delayed and canceled two days, for two days? No, one day. Uh, got postponed one day. We had to stay at night and then they were supposed to put us on the first flight out the next morning, but they put us on standby so we couldn't get on that flight. So only Danae and Ashley got on that flight and then they said I would be on the next flight and then we got on standby for that one. I didn't get on that one. So like the third flight out the next day, I got on. And he finally made it to here. That was seven days ago. <laughs> now we're trying to <laughs> we're trying to leave Cancun and get the hell out of Mexico and get back to the United States. And our flight got delayed today from 5.30 to 7. So now we have to wait. The weather's pretty shitty. It's been raining super hard all day, as I showed y'all in the earlier clips. So can't even wait on the beach. We can't even, yeah, we can't even wait on the beach and enjoy the last day. The, la the best thing they did for us is give us these like wristbands, and it pretty much like it's pretty much like we're still on the all-inclusive deal, so we get to enjoy the restaurants and foods. But at this point, like I'm so over the food, <laughs> I'm ready to get back home and like eat clean and have my Kodiak cakes and turkey bacon. Um, Ashley's actually, uh, she's flying separate, and her flight got delayed, so she has to go to Atlanta. Yeah, she's flying to Atlanta. Her flight got delayed here, so now she's gonna miss her connecting flight in Atlanta. They're telling her she might have to stay the night in Atlanta, but she won't get back in until tomorrow morning, so. She won't get back to Houston until tomorrow morning, off. so. <laughs> that's both ways for them. I only had to deal with travel issues on the way back, so can't really complain, but I really wanna go home. I've got Javon over there working on his video, so. In the meantime, I'm gonna reply to some uh, some YouTube comments. Everyone's giving me crap because I <laughs> I initially I, I named this video Viva La Mexico, Viva La, La Mexico, and people were like, that's the wrong way to say it. It's Viva Mexico. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not Hispanic, <laughs> nor do I have a look of Hispanic culture in me. So you should respond to the people saying that. Say <laughs> gracias por saying more to you. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's telling me to respond to all these people and say gracias por, por su ayuda. Yeah. Gracias por su ayuda. So I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> to the mean people, the people that are that are leaving mean comments on my page. <laughs> I'm gonna say gracias por su ayuda. Thank you for your services. Thank you for correcting my Spanish. I really appreciate it. What's going on guys? Back at the Casa de Guzman. I don't know, correct me if I was wrong. Casa de Guzman? Am I saying that right? Back at Christian's house. Well, essentially my home as well. Um, back in town, feels great to be back. Um, yeah, my face feels puffy. Feels great to be back because now I can start working on all this. Like, put on a lot of body weight, a lot of body fat. In this trip, I'm on this trip, this previous vacation, it's two week vacation. Um, feels awesome to be back. About to make me up a healthy breakfast. Move where the lighting's good. About to make me a healthy breakfast and get back on my grind, guys. Um, I just weighed myself, as you guys saw in the previous clip. Um, I was 214 pounds. Um, I stepped on stage at 195, so I'm almost 20 pounds over my stage weight. And uh, honestly, I don't really feel that bad because it's normal. And I went on a vacation for two weeks and I didn't track anything for two weeks. So um, it was kind of expected, but 
nonetheless, I'm back home. Um, as I said yesterday, in my uh, yesterday, I said um, I was prepping for a a photo shoot. Um, I will be doing a spread with uh, muscle, muscular development and my protein. Um, muscular development is actually going to fly down here to Houston September 12th. Um, according to my protein, they're going to fly down here um, September 12th, and we're going to be doing a magazine magazine photo shoot, and I'm excited for that. So I've decided to do a little mini prep series, getting rid of all this excess stuff and getting back down to around maybe 200 pounds by September 12th, maybe even less, I don't know, but 200 pounds around September 12th, that's what I'd like to be at, and uh, just really grinding the next four weeks. So I'm gonna vlog these next four weeks. I know and I hope that y'all are excited to watch this prep, this mini four week prep, because I'm gonna walk y'all through all of it. Um, my YouTube videos are gonna be consistent. Um, I'm not gonna upload every single day, but I'm gonna try and push out, push out as many videos as I can a week, um, two to three videos a week, promised. Um, I'm really happy to be, get back on my grind. I don't know where Christian is right now. Um, he may be sleeping still, but I'm here alone, or if he's not here, I'm here alone. Um, I'm gonna, gonna go run some errands, get back on my grind. Um, just wanted to give y'all a little update now that I'm back in Houston and let y'all know, I guess, where my channel's going the next four weeks and just give y'all a little rundown of what's gonna be going on. So yeah, I'm gonna start this mini prep starting today. Today's Monday, August 15th. Um, let's get it. I'm ready to get lean again. I'm ready to walk out through another prep, a mini prep this time. Not a 20 week prep, a mini prep. Ready to walk y'all through it. Hope you guys enjoy this journey, this four week journey. Glad to be back. I love y'all. Comment, like, subscribe, share. I feel like my English is really bad now because I was in Mexico. I feel like all I can think about is how to say things in Spanish. It's kind of weird. But let's get it, guys. See y'all soon. <laughs> Oh.